Hello everyone! As we continue to prepare our elementary schools for standards-based grading, we have determined how our rating scale will be displayed in Mastery Connect. To increase accuracy in reporting, researchers such as Gusky and Marzano recommend using an integer-based rating scale to indicate what students have learned. We will be using a four-level rating scale in our elementary schools, level one, beginning, level two, developing, level three, meeting, and level four, exceeding. As we begin our partnership with Mastery Connect, we need to determine how we will communicate if and when a student demonstrates level four performance, which is exceeding mastery of a standard or set of standards. When we first started exploring Mastery Connect, we were informed trackers could only display three levels of mastery, beginning in red, developing in yellow, and mastering in green. At this time, we believed we would be able to represent a level four exceeding mastery of a standard in a separate tracker or through the notes and comments sections available in Mastery Connect. Through the recommendation of our Mastery Connect pilot teachers, District SILT members determined this was not a setback due to the many amazing features Mastery Connect offers teachers, students, and parents. Later, after further discussions with the company, we learned there was actually a way we could display a level 4 exceeding mastery of a standard into our trackers. We were very excited about this revelation as it meant we would be able to visually report exceeding mastery in the color blue directly into our trackers and on our report cards rather than indicating mastery in the note and comment sections. As we have continued to learn more and more about Mastery Connect through our pilot teachers and company-led trainings, we have learned that while we can display four levels of mastery in our trackers, there are some challenges that come along with this option. A major challenge is that any assessment given must be assigned a level 4, exceeding mastery of standard as the highest rating, even if the questions on that assessment are not requiring level 4 work. This causes a problem because there will be times when students will be given formative assessments that do not go beyond level 3 mastery of a standard, but since all assessments must be assigned levels 1 through 4, a student who answers all questions correctly would be reflected as exceeding that standard in the tracker. This would make the student appear to be exceeding the standard when in fact they were only at mastery level. This means teachers would not have accurate data for instructional decision making and student groupings. While we will build our curriculum frameworks to include common assessments that have a level 4, not all formative assessments will have level 4 content by virtue of their design. Mastery Connect was chosen as our standards-based gradebook. However, the program is so much more. If used correctly to track formative data, teachers will be able to have more effective conversations that drive the formation of student groups and instructional practices. If student data is inaccurately inflated, this will hinder that process. The TNL department has determined we will display three levels of mastery in the trackers and on the report card. Details will be developed in partnership with Mastery Connect and District SILT members to determine how Level 4, Exceeding Mastery of a Standard, will be reported. Created using Powtoon.